I believe one of the worst things that can happen to any young person is a public scolding. And uh, in this photograph, <laughs> I should I'm, see, I'm ready, it's getting me into trouble. Um, I was walking, this is about 15 or so years ago, I was walking along Albert Cow Market, and I just heard that fury of a mother who was trying to lay down the law, and it was so familiar. And I turned and I saw this, these, these two here, and the lady was da da da. And I really felt for the young woman in this um, image because I don't know if you've ever had a public scolding. I have had public scoldings as a kid. I had to get them quite often, and I absolutely hated them. It wasn't the scolding itself, it was something about the fact that once you're in public, with your mum or dad. My dad wasn't really a public scholar. My mum, she just made it clear then and there, this is the situation. I am not happy with this. And of course, everybody starts looking or you feel as if the whole world is looking at you. And what is your most natural reaction? It is to, well, of course, you're going to sulk afterwards. Um, uh, my initial wish would always be that the ground would open and swallow me very, very quickly and I'd disappear. And um, some of these public scoldings, let's say the ones that took place in my first 14 years when I lived in Oxford, they were just, that was it. My mum would get, I'd do something or I would, I would drift or I don't know, I'd done something. The chances were that I had uh, kind of misbehaved, let's say about 80% of the time. I think 20% of the time it was, my mom was just in a, a bad mood or whatever. But in Nigeria, a public scolding is a different level, at least the ones I experienced. So the first time we had gone to the village, I forgot I'd done something and I was told off. It's not just your mum. Suddenly people, all older people, decide that this is a, an invitation to join in. And even people who have no idea what's going on will join in and yeah, they'll comment and they'll point. And I, of course, in a culture such as Nigeria, you cannot uh, be rude to an older person. So you just have to accept this scolding. Even though what was going on in my head, the cursing and fury that was going on in my head, wishing every one of those busybodies would sort of trip up or I don't know, something not super horrible but embarrassing would happen to them. And um, so seeing this in the, in the, I mean, I see it from time to time, but seeing this in the Albert camp, I just, <laughs> I don't know, I just had to laugh. Uh, um, yeah. It happens to all of us. Sometimes we are naughty. Sometimes our parents are a bit stressed out. They don't know what to do. Uh, I am a parent. I'm even a grandparent, so I do understand how kids can uh, challenge your nerves. <laughs> but uh, I don't. I was never a fan of public scolding. Uh, perhaps it. I found it so horrible. I just couldn't pass that on. I couldn't. I couldn't kind of get my revenge by scolding my kids in public. I did scold them once in a while, but never in public, ever.